everyone and welcome back if you are like me you probably been searching for a great text editor for your mac for years i have relied on notepad++ on my windows machine for work and i know just how incredibly useful it is truly an essential tool but on mac finding something similar as always felt out of reach i have spent so much time looking for a real notepad++ equivalent with no luck well good news my long search is over i found a fantastic way to get notepad++ running smoothly on your mac using something called porting kit and because i know how many of you are in the same boat maybe missing notepad++ from your windows days in this video i will walk you through step by step exactly how to install notepad++ on your mac so this is putting it and as you can see this is kind of install windows games inside your mac this is kind of a container which will hold notepad++ inside it but this container doesn't need to be up and running after installation is done so let's start downloading and get going download for mac i'm going to do dmg hello okay So once it get downloaded just double click it and move this porting kit tab to your application to get it installed and you heard the sound that is been installed so now i'm going to check porting kit dot app Are you sure you want to download? So read everything carefully and then decide to cancel or open. I'm reading it. Putting kit app is an app downloader from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Safari downloaded the file today. Uh, type Apple checked it for malicious software and uh, none was detected. So safe to open. Yeah, the first time, very first time, it takes time, something like this. But don't worry. That's how it is. So, porting kit to set up the porting kit, click continue. I'm clicking continue, and then that's the license agreement. You accept or decline, decline will close the application. So, I'm agreeing it. And folder permission allow the porting kit to access my download folders. I am going to give it, but read allow. And the pop-up came, just give allow. I strongly recommend you to read whatever it is there before choosing any ticks and continue. So I'm okay to choose that and continue. And uh, I'm not going to give any microphone permission. Analytics, I don't want to share anything with the developers. So I unchecked it. That's the application default path. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't want to get integrated to it. If you are a live streamer, this integration will help you to get the live streaming going for gamings. So I'm not going to stream any gaming. So I'm just skip that, not choosing it and start.
so welcome to porting kit in order to install application go to the all games tab and search for the app that you want to install if the desired application is already supported you gonna find it in the grid if it isn't you can still try to install it by pressing the first icon new custom port in case you need any help press contact us okay let's go here and now this is the interface of this porting kit just click all apps on this and you can see the search bar on the top right now type notepad hit enter okay that's not coming notepad plus plus Ah, when you click all apps, you can see it's there straight away on the home page. Just click that. And you can see that it's updated in 2023. We'll create a wrapper. This WSI file will create a wrapper and install the free Notepad++ into the wrapper. As I said, it's like a container. It's a wrapper, they call it. So just click install. And as our traditional Windows installation process, this is going to do the same. Click next. And next. I'm not changing in the location. Install. That should be familiar with any Windows user. So that's the technology behind this wine skin wrapper. and you can see that's english language and click next agree next yeah, yeah. that's i will leave it to default i don't want to create shortcut and would like to access the files in your desktop folder allow and click finish to run the notepad plus plus an updated package is available do you want to download it no choose no and uh, now go to settings preference and go to miscellaneous and uncheck this enable notepad plus plus auto updater we don't want to update we just want to use the version which has been installed and now you can see running 
सकते हैं ई एक्स सी ओके लेट्स लेट्स क्लोज दिस फॉर नाउ and look at that the installation was successful so now close this and now you can see it it shows play button basically the wrapper has it to play inside it now let's close this one and test it out anything related to this porting kit i just closed it and let's try notepad plus plus is not showing up but let's go in the launch pad you can see it's here just click on it and right now the porting kit is not running in the background and you can still access your notepad plus plus like what you did in do in the windows i'm really happy this was so much exhausting that i keep trying to use this notes on the mac but i'm not comfortable at all and this changed my game if you like this video if you like this tutorial If you like to see more of this tutorial something similar to this please do like share and subscribe my channel I will keep making videos thank you bye this sound this sound